Hey, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. I'm Deanna or Queen D. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my current everyday makeup routine. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and start off with primer. I'm gonna be going in with my Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Icy Sherbet Primer. That's like a mouthful, honestly. But I love this stuff so, so much and a little goes a long way. I just grabbed like a little, little dollop on my fingers and I'm just gonna work this into my skin. And it's just like nice and cooling. It's kind of refreshing. And for foundation, I'm gonna be using the Milani Cream to Powder Foundation. I'm in the shade 208, which is called Buff. This is their Conceal and Perfect Smooth Finish. I like to just kind of dip this little, I don't know what you call these, but like I kind of like to call it like a, like a cat paw type situation. And I'm just gonna lightly put this all over my face where I really feel like I need it because I'm really not really trying to do full coverage today. I'm more or less just trying to like perfect my skin and like look how good that under eye was just like so quick easy and I'm just gonna tap a little bit of this on to the eyelid as well and I've been liking like these more like creamy foundations lately for the fact that like you still see your skin I don't know it's like almost like just skin blurring it's just like your skin but better type deal you know what I'm saying so we're gonna go ahead and set our face with the Milani this is their cherry make it last setting spray Oh my gosh, I love this cherry one. It smells so good. I really just wanna like keep spraying it because it's not like, it's not that like artificial cherry. It smells more like a real cherry and not an artificial cherry. And for bronzer, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer. This is in Macchiato. And I'm gonna be taking this e.l.f. brush. This is the Macchiato. And this is a contouring brush, which is like perfect. And it's nice and like really dense. So I'm just gonna kind of tap in here a couple times, get the color on here and we're gonna try and keep this up nice and high on the cheekbones. So right there, and let's do the same thing to the other side. And then we're just gonna lightly kind of take the wider side and just lightly kind of, kind of like a buff swipe, but not a full swipe. It's almost like a pounce swipe type situation. I don't really, now I don't know what to call it. Cause I really want this to like blend out softly. I don't want it to get like carried away and go where I don't want it to. Cause I really don't want it to go any further down than where it is. Cause I feel like I already kind of took it a little further down than I wanted. But I've been loving this look, these cream looks, just cause like you can really still see your skin through them. And it just feels like it gives you like this nice natural look. Cause my husband always is like, I think you look so, like you look better without makeup. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Tell me you look good with it too. Which he does, but you get the point. I more or less put the makeup on for me, not for anyone else. And I'm sorry, this brush, I think the glue is coming off of it. So it's like making this like weird, like clicking sound. So sorry if you can hear that. And now we're gonna go ahead and highlight, I mean, <laughs> contour my forehead. Oh my gosh, highlight my forehead. Mm. We do not need to do that at all and i'm really just brushing this into my hairline so it blends really really well and again brushing this into my hairline that way it'll create a soft blend it matches you know what i'm saying it doesn't look like you know i mean don't get me wrong your scalp should be lighter just because of your hair and stuff like that but i want it to like blend and just kind of match all right so now we're going to go ahead and do the jawline and i'm not going to try and tilt my jaw up. i want to keep it down low and just kind of follow that jawline so you can see where my jawline is now. And now I'm gonna do the same thing as kind of buff this out towards the ear and then down through the jawline. Go ahead and contour the other jaw. And then same thing, just blend it down through the neck. So we're gonna move on to cream blush. This is the Milani Cheeks um, Cheek Kiss You're a Peach Cream Blush. Kind of tap in here a couple times boom she pigmented so just let ooh, that's she's pretty strong and a little bit into the temple just that way it'll blend really well and nice all right so now we're just going to kind of tap this out obviously a little goes a long way with these blushes because that is whoosh, the truth i'm gonna take a little bit of it through the forehead just a little bit just kind of blend and stuff like that i'm gonna add a little bit of it on my nose just to kind of give me that flushed look and i'm gonna try to drag it across to my nose through my cheek like kind of almost through my under eye but not quite and this is just to give that kind of like flushed blush look so next we're gonna go into highlighting which we're gonna be using the fenty beauty kilowatt this is in mean money and hustla baby and we're gonna be putting this on our cheekbones and this is also gonna be our eyeshadow for today. So I'm gonna be going into both of these shades right through here, and I'm just gonna tap this on my eyelid first, and a little bit on the inner corner. Just 
Alrighty, so now I'm gonna go just over here into Hustle Baby, which is more of like the shimmery set, and I'm gonna really put that on my lid just to really give it that nice little shine. And for mascara, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Lash It Loud Mascara, and I'm gonna do this off camera and I'll be right back. So I was silly and I forgot to highlight my cheeks, so I'm just gonna tap in here really quick and just highlight my cheekbone, and just a little bit on the temple. Just lightly swirl to blend and buff it out. And I'm just gonna add a little bit towards the tip of my nose, and a little bit down it. So the last two things we're gonna do is brows and a lip. So let's go ahead and knock out these brows. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel. This is in the shade Herb. Use this to comb up my brows and really just distribute the uh, pigment onto the hair itself. And I'm really just using a light, light hand. And now I'm going back through it towards the front of the brow. Boom, brow. And then I'm gonna take like a clean spoolie brush and I've got like a ton of these. I got these off of Amazon. And I'm just gonna lightly kind of just lay down any excess hairs and kind of just grab any excess pigment out of it as well. All right, so let's go ahead and do the other eye. And I'm gonna do the same exact motions. So now that we've got those done, we're gonna go ahead and do lips. So we're gonna be using this Revlon Lip Liner. This is in the shade Blush. This is their Colorstay Longwear Lip Liners. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my lip. All right, and I like to fill in my lips with my lip liners, especially because I'm just using a gloss today. It's something really easy. And this is the Fenty Gloss Balm in Taffy Tees. It's like a pinky, corally kind of color. Honestly, it really went with um, the blush. May not look like it, but it does. And then we're gonna set it with the Cherry Setting Spray to make it last again. So refreshing, just oh, super refreshing. Alrighty, so this is the completed look. I absolutely love these cream products, honestly. They're great for summer. They just like melt into your skin and they just leave you with this cute like glow. And don't get me wrong, like I have highlighter on too, but it has this natural glow that it automatically gives you. And it just, oh, you just feel hydrated. I just feel like ready for summer. It just, oh, it really just makes me feel good to be using these cream products. And it sounds kind of crazy to say, but it's just so true. And and I will say these Milani cream blushes are so great. They blend out like a charm because as you can tell, the more I kept blending it, it like blend out, you know, without taking away my foundation. It didn't miss, it didn't mess with anything as I put it on top of products. And then think about it, I put a powder highlight on top of a cream blush without setting it and it didn't lift the foundation either. So I'm really, really impressed with these cream products. I mean, again, I've been, these are my, it's my everyday look. So I've been really dedicated to these cream products lately and I think you guys should really try them out. And comment below if you guys are using cream products, I'd love to know what you guys are using because I've been like trying to like pick up any little thing I go and get. I'm really on the lookout for cream bronzers and cream highlighters right now. Hard to come by, but I'm looking for them. So I will see you guys in the next one. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.